In this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the internal rate of return or IRR in Excel. So here we're given a cash flow table and to calculate the IRR, we first press equals, type down IRR like this. We input all the cash flow values, then press semicolon or comma depending on if you're using a Mac or Windows, and we input a guess. A guess here is just how much you think the internal rate of return is. So for example, if I think it's around 20%, then Excel will try to iterate or find the internal rate of return within that range of numbers. So we close the bracket and we press enter. And we find that the internal rate of return is 20%, which if we um, take some more decimal places, we find out that it is actually 19.78%. Now, it's not necessary to uh, do to input a guess, so you can just do IRR, drag all the cash flow values, close the bracket like this, and Excel will still calculate it for you. Now, in example two, we're given a cash flow table as well, but the cash flows are still missing. If you're given income and expenses like this, or income expenses, taxes, and so on, you always have to calculate for the cash flow first. So do this by just uh, income subtracted minus expenses. So zero minus this, then drag all this down like this. Okay, now we have the cash flows and all we need to do is just calculate the IRR simply like this by typing IRR and dragging all the cash flow values, closing the bracket, and we get that the IRR is 19% or more specifically 18.72%. So that's it for this video. Thank you.